Oh, we're here in Birkola, we'll just have a look around in Birkola. I was doing a piss. I saw someone coming through there and he looked at me for a split second. <laughs> And oh my gosh, they were like, ooh, I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm booking. And she's like, yeah, I was sick. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna live here, I'm gonna be okay. Yeah, we're having a picnic up here. This is so cool. So cool. Shake, shake the back. I love how Vicky's always really thoughtful. No, no, no. She's really creative with her gifts. You better like this video. You better like this video. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another day, another vlog. So, we are just having like breakfast, kind of breakfast, almost lunch. So, brunch. Um, not really brunch because we're just having like a coffee, some biscuits, and some fruit. But we took our time getting um, up this morning. I don't know where the pole is for this, babe. We woke up at like 5.30 and we watched the sunrise for a bit, but I didn't have any memory on my uh, camera. I just cleared it up now so I couldn't actually film it for you guys, maybe tomorrow. And then we ended up falling back to sleep and we woke up at like 10, 10.30. So now we're finally having a coffee. We're about to go out. Honestly, this trip, I just like, most of our other trips we always do the most like because of that guy <laughs> out and about exploring and doing all that stuff but this trip i said to him like i don't want to do that that's not what this trip is about i just want to relax like just relax just relax like so we're not doing too much at all this guy over here relaxing on the couch as if he is masangi because he's not allowed on the couch at home hey georgie pie what's up What's up with you? Uh, we're just having a breakfast. The coffee is ready and the cookies. Uh, we're just having a breakfast right now. Coffee and cookies. It's pretty simple, but you know. Oh, uh, we're here in Birkola. We'll just have a look around in Birkola. It's a really nice place, guys. It's back of the mountain. It's front of the sea. So amazing. Everything is amazing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here, <laughs> I showed you guys this yesterday toilet and outdoor area and he did mention it but i didn't know that the track came there but literally i was doing a piece and oh my gosh my heart i literally had a heart attack i saw someone coming through there and he looked at me for a split second we made eye contact and i just like froze so I just want to appreciate this view one more time and like just listen to those sounds. Because when it gets too warm, like I'm telling you guys, this guy's so high maintenance. Not, well, not just him necessarily, but his breed. Like he's an English bulldog. Even Aussie bulldogs have a few issues. But with Bear, um, he has a short nose. So they call this the brachycephalic breed. Uh, the other dogs, they have a longer nose, which helps them to breathe. And, and it's a lot easier for the dogs with the long snout to like cool down when they're hot. The thing I love most about him is his personality. Because they don't have too much of an intelligence radar, they make up for it with their personalities because he is hilarious. You are so funny, my baby boy. Down, bebe. Good boy. He's so tired this morning, I don't know why. Where did you go, bro? I was looking for you. It's so going the walkway down there. The hike go, track? Yeah, it's go all the way down to the river. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it's easy to go down. When you come up, oh, too many stairs, man. <laughs> You're going to what? Don't go to that one, otherwise someone's going to see you in the hike track. Because someone's gonna see you wiping your butt. Look at this guy just splattered on here. Like I just can't get over it because since when, darling? Okay guys, so we just went out and we are back again. 
we decided to park up here because it's just too much work. Yeah, it's in my bag. Just like, honestly, I cannot get over the view walking down here. I don't know, these plants, the palm trees and mm. <clears throat> those kinds of plants. Hi. Hi. Yeah, so we're finally home. We just had a little rest. We're about to go out with Bear. He accidentally fell in the pool yesterday. <laughs> Because there's a cover over the spa and he was backing away because he was terrified of it and he backed into the spa because he thought the cover was like not a cover so he got wet he smells a little bit like chlorine but like the chlorine smell has just made him smell yeasty I don't like that smell so we're going to pet barn to give him a little wash come on let's go potty go potty this is where the lizards are I'm scared okay I'll let you go by yourself no, he doesn't want to. We just finished washing Bear. He was a big scaredy cat. And now we're, um, we're just looking for somewhere to eat. Somewhere dog friendly so he can like lay in the sun or whatever, dry up. Got here to the Newport guys. We're just about to have... Yeah. No, we're not in Avalon. I got a mocktail. A chicken snitty burger, chips, and this fish and chips are so good. But look at this view. And then Bear's just chilling here eating his bone. This is the back door. I don't think I've showed you guys this yet. This is literally their backyard. Guys, oh my gosh, it has been quite a day. We didn't vlog that much today, um, just because we didn't really do much. We pretty much relaxed, took Bear for a bath at Pet Barn, and then we came home, fed the kookaburras and stuff, and then we went to the beach, and then we came home and went straight to the jacuzzi. That was so nice. I spent about 30, 40 minutes in there, um, but I ordered some Thai. Bossy is still in there on TikTok Live. And I'm sorry, I can't wait. So I'm gonna have my dinner and he can eat when he comes in. We would have went out for dinner, but uh, we were just enjoying our time in the jacuzzi. So, and oh my gosh, I ordered mango sticky rice. Oh my gosh, guys, it smells divine. Look how nice that looks. Usually I have like a coconut cream. I don't know if that's part of this or so good so so good i also got some spring rolls if i ordered that i had to pay more for delivery so i just added this as a add-on so this is the food i got some steamed rice some stir fry and pad su -u. and i'm drinking next bar in a flute glass good morning guys today we've just been chilling the same as yesterday our last official day here excuse the morning looks i woke up a long time ago i just spent like the last 40 minutes on the phone with my mummy and they're in samoa at the moment she asked me to book her baby come on this guy's such a scaredy cat he does not want to be left alone She had asked to book her book her accommodation or something like that. We had booked the first time, but they couldn't get out of the Vaa, so they asked, my mum asked us to call back and change it. Ozzy had already spoken to the lady from Jedova, and um, they had a really good combo or whatever. They were like, ooh, for my mum, my mum, they're not booking. And she was like, yeah, I was sick. I was like... <laughs> And I was like, Josie, yeah, I mean, I left here in Umbella I'm only kidding, guys. I find it so hilarious. Then when my mom called me and she was like, eh, I saw you for one of them. Oh my gosh, they have a bolo right there, Osi. As their door. No, there. And then when my mom was like, to change it, I was like, oh my gosh, Osi, you're going to have to call her back. And he didn't want to because he was like, I've already booked her. I was like, Boy, you better call her back. So then when he called her back, it was a mala that answered. Then he was like to he was like to me, if we have to change it because she's already booked it, then I'm gonna tell her like say I was like, oh but then you'd have to ask for her number. He was like, Yeah, yeah, excuse me, boy. Excuse me, boy. Excuse me, boy. Hey guys, I am ready for the day. 
I'm going to miss this place so much. This is our last full day here. You can see what Aussie's doing. We didn't make use of their little spa. Their spa bath in that room. So I'm just cooking breakfast, guys. Uh, making use of our porridge that we brought. We're finally sitting down to have some breakfast. Salt, porridge, banana, cookie, coffee. <laughs> yeah, I made some porridge with some coffee and then we got some grapes. How do you open this? Oh my gosh. How cool is that? Oh, the birds are waiting already. You are ready? Have you? Mm. So we are off now. Last day and we are about to go explore. I don't know where we're gonna go, probably Palm Beach. We're just driving around Palm Beach. And my goodness, it's such a beauty. If the sun was out, this would look so much more prettier. Look at the house. Oh, just the house. The waves, it's like a heartbeat for me. What are you saying? Oh my gosh, can you stop? When you lie down next to the pit, you can feel your heartbeat. You can feel your heartbeat all the time? Yeah, a bit like when you feel the, the waves is so strong, your heart is more stronger. Oh, okay, I like it, I will see. This is so beautiful, guys. Wow, there's a swimming pool down here. Wow. Guys, our last official hours, couple of hours here in this beautiful Airbnb. We've enjoyed our time so much. Yeah. This trip has just been about relaxing and just enjoyment. So yesterday I didn't really vlog cause we did like, we didn't really do anything. We went out for a bit, we went driving, went to Worrywood, which is their local shopping center. That was okay, that was pretty nice. And then we came home and relaxed. And then we went out for dinner again, which I didn't vlog at the Newport. That was so nice. Like the mm. food last night was like hitting the spot. Yeah, so beautiful last night, hit the spot, you know, but we're gonna miss this place. It's been great and I am so happy, so pleased. I couldn't have imagined spending my 30th any other way. I, and this was just like the cream of the crop. Parramatta was really nice and then this just like topped it off. Mm. We're gonna head out now. So we're gonna pick up some breakfast along the way and Bever over there. We've already cleaned up, made it look like before we came in. I will, however, take one of their complimentary popcorn packets. Yes, thank you. Bye, birds. Bye, kookaburras. Look at this bird fool eyeing out bear. He's like, what the heck is that? We didn't even vlog that day that we went down to the jacuzzi. Swim? Yeah. No, look, look, it's cool. No, I didn't. That was just like a story. Yeah. Guys, we didn't vlog when we, when we had a jacuzzi swim. The other day we went straight to the beach and then we were like chilling in the jacuzzi. It was so, 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 so nice. And one last time, goodbye. I just cannot believe that we're still in Sydney and how tropical this area is. Like, it's so humid and it just feels like we're in like a tropical island. I want to ask Aussie this question. So we've been on the road for about 45 minutes. We stopped and had a, a little bit of breakfast. Not so much breakfast, but just a little bit of breakfast. In my own way, you see our breakfast. Why my own way? Well, in my own way, I can get a lot of power. I can get a lot of power. Well, if it's not healing his book, then definitely not healing my book. Hey, why are you laughing? Um, Why you say to go there? I say to go to the cafe there in the right. It's all right. Now, she got me a cool book up. I want a big mare for me. <laughs> oh! Mm. Okay, guys, so I wanted to ask Ossie this question Pudgy or Biogola? Oh, I would love to stay here in Biogola. 
<laughs> nothing, nothing topped Kuji for this guy. And even for me, I loved Kuji. We had such a great experience yeah, in Kuji. Yeah, so right. Kuji. And every time I would say, oh, Kuji or this, Kuji or Manly, Kuji or... And he'll always say Kuji. Kuji and Bacola, but Bacola is on top of Kuji, you know? Especially Bugola Plateau, because it's all the way up in the hills and like the rainforest. Oh my gosh, it's every house up there. Wow, beautiful. You can see the view. And then our little traveler friend over here. He's so good at traveling now. Before he used to be real scared and like we couldn't get him to lie down. Like he just wouldn't lie down because he spoiled little baby. Most dogs only see their backyard, but this guy. Goes everywhere with his mama and dada. I wish I could say I was happy about it. I'm so sad to leave the 20s club and I feel really sad, but also I'm really excited for what's ahead. 20s is cool and all, but like the 30s, you have money, you have, you do whatever you want essentially. And I'm excited for that part. I'm excited for this new era of my life. Um, and <sighs> I don't know, <laughs> 93 baby. Um, I don't know why I'm taking this so serious. Like a lot of people just treat this day like any other day, but I've had like the greatest week off celebrating my birthday. I had to take it a week earlier, as you guys know, because of leave. Um, it didn't work out with my colleagues and all of that. So I took one for the team and actually took my celebrations a week earlier. I spent a lot <laughs> on my birthday, but I didn't have a party and usually People would spend that on like a big party. I can just never get used to the idea of like big celebrations because all that money that you're spending to feed everyone and I'm making no hate to anyone else who does that. But like, you know, I would rather take that money and spend it on myself, spend it on having fun. So that's exactly what I did. And I'm happy about it. I've had the best time just being relaxing. And that's exactly how I wanted to spend my birthday it was like, feeling relaxed today my sister has booked me on a little cruise around lake billy griffin down good boy baby baby where's your toy where's your toys where's your ball he's so smart this dog honestly i've taught him so much so he associates go find it and ball with playtime so he will literally go and get a toy or find his ball and bring it back to me. <laughs> He's trying to get his toy. <laughs> what did you get? Show me. Drop it. Drop it there. Wow, you got that little toy. I've got his toy thingy here. Leave it. Break. <laughs> He's so cute. Right, so we just pulled up at the car park. We're about to head over there. I'm a little bit worried because we've not left that much time to spare. So we've got to go and find where the jetty is, where it takes off. I brought my beach hat that I used like a long time ago when we went to Jarvis. I've not worn it since. It looks nice. So yeah, we're going Could we to go this way. Me. How exciting. Thank you so much, Chrissy. Oh. Today. Ah, uh, yes, I do. What's the name for that one? Victoria? Um, I've just got to grab a driver's license, just a photo ID or something similar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good. There we go. All safe to head out. You good? Have fun, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Aussie, we didn't even bring our speaker. Oh, did you rent a speaker? Or? Oh, no, we had one in the car. This is so much fun. Look at that. 
Georgie, oh my gosh, I cannot believe we're on this boat. It just feels so weird because like we don't usually do touristy things here in Canberra because like I mean we live here but this is so amazing. I am so happy. Alright guys, so this is what we have for our picnic. These are my favorite chips by the way. These are from Audi. Honestly, the reason why I love them is because they taste like taro chips. Look how nice these so nice. I love this so much. This was my gift that um, Sia got me last year. Yeah, we're having a picnic up here. This is so cool. So, oh, look. so excited. We got some ginger beer. Just set up. We only booked an hour, but I just called the lady to see if we could extend it to two hours because we're having so much fun. Maybe I'll do the driving on the way back so he can enjoy a little bit. Got our snacks here. I got my camembert. Nossi. Do you want some more Nossi? So nice. It's even better because it's just like Aussie and I and like he's steering it himself. This is so much fun guys. I'm having some lychees. Aussie, how's it going over there driving? Oh my fofonga, to a lassi. You guys see me? So I cannot believe I am 30. That is crazy when I think about that because I still remember like my 21st. Just insane how fast years go. I met Aussie when I was 22 and now I'm 30. I met Victoria when I was 25. 24. Oh, 24. So Aussie, and now I'm 30. You're turning 33 in a couple of months. Your old bag. We've swapped places. So Aussie's having a rest over there or laxed up over there. Oh my gosh, I'm doing like such a terrible job at this. So we've just been chilling at home the last like three hours playing Fortnite with my nephews. They're still on school holidays, but sadly we're both back at work tomorrow, which I am very sad about. Holidays coming to an end. And of course, back to work to sponsor more holidays. Hey Aussie. Yeah. My next big one will be with my family to Samoa. Your boy George is not going to that one. But we're going to the dinner now, guys. Then come back, sleep early, back to work tomorrow. It's actually really hot, guys. It's like boiling here in Canberra. Your car says 40 degrees. Oh my gosh. So it's 40 degrees Celsius, and that's hot. Okay guys, so we're all here at the birthday on this lovely Tuesday hour. Aussie, can I have a drink? Ling you for Seva Yomono. So what would you like to say to me? Happy birthday. Hope you have a good day today. Okay, thank you, Sia, for my cake. We're just doing a quiz, guys, for the um with the calendar that I got now. Been sitting here quizzing everyone if they know the Samoan word. This word we didn't know, we just found out, even I just found out. And also this one's a one that not many people know, I knew it. Oh, he gave birth, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Love this thing, thank you. Deserving of some testimonies. Who wants to go first? Okay, it's that. Always game Oh. What? Amazon? <laughs> okay, that was very nice. Well done, Zab. Who's next? Ready? Auntie Vicky's my best auntie. Aww. You guys are all. I betray. Me, I am the best auntie. Best auntie. Come up this way, Mona. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, I love how Vicky's always really vocal. She's really creative with her gifts. Oh, thank you. Very um, I think Vicky is kind of special because obviously Bless her, she was still a teenager. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Don't worry, I would be yeah, crying like, as well if I was like, on that Vicky's side. Vicky's always being one that's like, like a real girl get on, like whatever she wants to Let's do. Let's just eat! And I think that's awesome. Uh, like her and Austin, it's like so cute and they go on all these cute holidays. Too <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So, very fine. Okay. She's very, very special what she does with us. With her nephews. She's always my number one supporter. Yeah. She, uh, she kind of saves me from this guy. <laughs> Just invites yourself over to a house for sleepover. <laughs> you know this guy. Well, um, I got a lot of special Hi. things to say about Victoria. The first one is you're so privileged because you look like me. Oh wow! Now the second thing is you're so privileged because you act like me. Okay. <laughs> and no, seriously, um, Vicky keeps me on my toes. She challenges me when I'm in my traditional thinkings that not everybody thinks like me because she's so young. And I love how she's thoughtful as well, like what Ken said. She always considers her family first. Um, so thank you, CLC, for becoming our family too because Nikki loves her family and I love you so much. Oh, thank you guys. Okay, so I just want to say thank you so much to my family. Yeah. Thank you everyone for your kind thing. words. Thank you so much everyone for taking time to come and be with me and celebrate my birthday.